Last time, we tried to make glass from sand, just like in the game. But instead of glass, we only got a city. However, it's very close to glass already, so I want to give it another shot. Let's see if the improved formula can finally make transparent glass. Come on, buddy. Why do you gotta do this? Is it your graduate work? <laughs> Don't worry. This time I'm confident we'll make transparent glass. Mr. Leo! Let's get started. First, add the improved formula to the fine sand. Then put the charcoal and the mixed sand into the furnace. Light it up. And let it burn for two hours. Come on. If this isn't good enough. This started with a conversation between me and my teacher. Teacher, why I got black glass? I did some research. Perhaps there's too much iron impurity, which turns the glass brown or black. Whoa! Indeed. I observed under the microscope, and the edges were brownish yellow. So we can try reducing the iron impurities. In industrial production, they use magnetic separation, water washing, and acid leaching to remove iron impurities. They also use fluoride, which is a purifying agent to help iron impurities volatilize as gaseous compounds. Well, so, we treat the sand first, then add fluoride and the glass. Mike, turn out clear. You're ready? Yes. It said that glass was accidentally made in a camp by around 3000 BC. At first, it was just a decoration for the nobility, but as time passed, glass gradually entered all aspects of technology and life. It's known as humanity's first truly synthetic material. However, even today, what exactly glass is remains something to be explored. Hey, time's almost up. Wow, it's really transparent glass. Hey, it's pretty clear. But why bother? You can buy it for five bucks. That's true, but my teacher said we should never stop seeking the truth. 